Well, what's going on? This is Dylan with Music and Mascara, and we are still stuck in the driveway at the in-laws' house because of all this COVID-19 stuff. But I do have a project that I want to work on today. I know it's a little windy, but we're going to try to make what happens happen. Um, we have a, a situation with our motorhome. So we have two bathrooms. We have a bathroom uh, back here, and we have a bathroom right about here. The half bath in the front um, tends to have a little bit more odor in it no matter what we do with cleaning the tanks keeping all that kind of stuff maintained and I've been doing a pretty good job at it and I've noticed that it really happens like this odor issue really happens more so when it's really windy out so we've had some storms come through over the last few days and it's been really windy and I really feel like what's happening is we're getting like a downdraft in the exhaust fin. The other thing with that is it's not just one straight exhaust vent for this bathroom. It's actually connected to the kitchen, the washer dryer outlet. Um, so it all like goes into one pipe. And I just really feel like um, there's not enough positive pressure at the top of a pipe. So if you have no positive pressure at the top of your vent, uh, then it's very easy for air to come back down it. What we want to have is a constant flow of positive pressure out the top of the vent. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so I got one of these Camco uh, Cyclone RV holding tank vents. Uh, now the idea is, is that because of the shape of the end of this thing and the internal uh, parts of it. Well, here, let me, here, let's just open this thing up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let me just open this thing up and I'll show you what I'm talking about, about how this thing is supposed to work. Okay, so it comes with the main unit, it comes with like a flange cover that's supposed to go like down onto the roof and it comes with retainer screws okay and the way this thing works is if you look in there you can see it's split this way and it's split this way and it's got like a horn on the end of it um, now going back to my power sports days and understanding how carburetor intakes work basically the idea is is that this thing spins okay so if the wind is blowing this way, oh, actually the wind is blowing that way right now, then what's gonna happen is, as the wind catches this thing, wind is gonna come across here, come across this horn and create a negative pressure right here. And that negative pressure will then draw whatever's in this pipe up and out the pipe. So creating this negative pressure right here with the way the aerodynamics work of this little shape of this horn and everything uh, will allow it to be able to create a, just a drawing motion of all the air in the pipe. So I'm hoping that the smells and everything along with it will just continue to always be drawn. And it spins like a weather vane. So the idea is, is that no matter which way the wind is going or if you're driving or whatever, it's always creating like this negative pressure right here and pulling air up out of that pipe. So. We need uh, some die core because we gotta seal this baby down to the roof. We need a drill so we can drill into the pipe and uh, hopefully we don't get blown off the roof. Let's go see what happens. All right, so first things first, we need to get the old one off. So we'll pull all this old sealing up. This 
goes down over this and ride it up just a little bit so that it spins freely. And then we have to drill three holes in the bottom so that we can screw it into the deal. But, and then we'll go ahead and use die core and seal it all up. I don't really like how this is all misaligned with where the holes are. So we're gonna have to take some extra care and make sure that we get all these holes filled. But it's already working. How about that? Now when you drill the hole, make sure you go through into the pipe. And when you also when you do it, also make sure that that screw hole that you drilled is below the surface of this so that it stays below the sealing point once we finally seal it all up. If this thing is installed correctly it'll it'll spin freely on there so let's go ahead and seal this bad boy up all right I want to make sure that we sort out these holes I do not like how this is looking I can already smell it working good thing my face is so close No judgment on my die core application. I'm a rookie at this die core stuff. Okay, well there you go. It's already working. I can tell it's already working. Hopefully it doesn't make squeaky noises. Ooh, that's gonna be wonderful. Hopefully it doesn't do that. So anyway, there you go. There's my report. Uh, I'll let you know in the next couple of days. Well, I guess we'll just figure it out before we post this video we should know almost right away whether it's drawing vapors I can actually smell it as I'm working on it right now so we'll see well I have to say that thing's pretty cool uh, as soon as I installed it even while I was working on it I could smell uh, it pulling vapors and as even it's a little windy today a little breezy but that thing moves around just like it's supposed to uh, one thing I would tell you when you install it push it all the way down on the pipe and then back it up the pipe just maybe like an eighth of an inch or something just to make sure that it doesn't bind like don't, if you pull it down tight it won't it won't spin as freely so just make sure that you have a little bit of room in there uh but man i think i think it's a win i think it's working and i walk in the bathroom just now and i don't smell uh any odors now if there was any in there maybe lingering maybe i just gotta let my bathroom air out a little bit um but i from what i can see and smell and how it all works i think it's doing the thing it's supposed to do so i'm gonna call that a win um i'm probably gonna get one for the back bathroom too just because because it was an easy install it was not expensive i'll put a link to it in the description below it's pretty sweet my name is dylan this has been music and mascara if you have any questions about what we do here or blah 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 blah, blah anything i don't know who knows uh, and make sure you uh, check out our Facebook page and our Instagram and all that stuff. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next time.